This is Ezra and Nova. People know about Nova because she's the new cat on the block and she's unreasonably cute. But not a lot of people know much about Ezra because before there was Ezra and Nova, there was just Ezra. This week is Ezra's five year adoption anniversary. So we wanted to treat him. But first, let me tell you Ezra's story. Even though he's only six, he's had an interesting life. We adopted Ezra in 2019 when he was one year old. He was a shelter dog in Texas who was driven up to Toronto, Canada, along with other rescue dogs. Ezra was handed to us in a parking lot out of a truck like an Amazon package. He was friendly from day one and seemed to immediately accept us as his new family. He was already named Ezra at the shelter and we thought that was a pretty unique name, so we kept it. The rescue organization told us he's a Chihuahua Terrier mix. If that doesn't make any sense to you given how big he is, you're not alone. Ezra spent his first couple years with us as a city dog. He attended dog training school, explored Toronto, and made new friends. Life was going pretty well for Mr. Ezra. Little did he know, his parents were about to have a quarter life crisis that would change his life. In the summer of 2021, Julie and I quit our jobs and took a sabbatical to adventure across Canada while living in our car. Ezra went from spending his days on a couch to camping in national parks, hiking along lakes, and sleeping in a few Walmart parking lots along the way. I know you didn't ask for this. This is the face of a dog who's done with this shit. He wants to go home. Being cozy is nice, but we wanted Ezra to experience being outdoors like a real dog. Up until now, he was more like a part-time dog. This trip was a chance for him to live out his dog bucket list. He got to explore Canada, which is not bad for a dog who started off in a shelter. He got to see more than what most dogs and even some people see in their lifetime. This was also a trip for us to experience something different from city life. Ezra, leave it. Ezra. He's literally staring at Ezra. Eight months later, and we ended up back where we started, in Toronto, Canada. At the end of the day, Ezra was still relieved to have his own bed again. But still, we thought something was missing for Ezra. He seemed kind of lonely. We thought about getting him a second dog, but we knew the extra responsibility was too much for us. Ezra has always been curious about cats, so we thought about rescuing a cat. But Julia is allergic, so we gave up that idea. One day, we got an opportunity to get a Bengal cat through a friend. We found out Bengals are hypoallergenic, so it could coexist with Julia. That's when Nova entered the picture. They're also affectionate and high energy, so Ezra could have someone to play with and keep him company. Ezra. Ezra was nervous at first, but Nova quickly forced him to be her friend. And from that point on, 
two YouTube legends were born. Although we settled back into a regular routine, something felt off. The trip was still on our mind. We realized we didn't want to stay in the city. We wanted to be closer to nature. Nova brought excitement into our life and we wanted to give her and Ezra the most exciting life they could have. So the four of us packed up our stuff and made our way out west again. But now Ezra has a bed to come home to and a friend to experience new outdoor adventures with. We think it's gonna be an interesting summer. Ezra, pick a toy. Anything you want. No, I'm not interested. Do you want this toy? Oh, you like that toy. So, we're taking it. He's gonna pretend that's Nova. Well, no, no, he doesn't. He has a preference. You want the bunny? Okay, you want the bunny. Okay. Wait, is he allowed to take it before you paid for it? <laughs> Let's go check out. She wants it, damn. Damn, they both want it. Nova needs her own. Ezra, you know the rules. She likes it, she gets it. 